Don't Wait, what's about. what's going on with Bud Light? I don't know, something about Kid Rock hating transgenders. What does that have to do with Bud Light? Those are the folks that pick this stuff up, right? These are the folks that go in, they look at it, they assess it, they put together their scope of work on the top of their head because they've been doing this for years. The thing that they told me to do, they said, make love to the camera. That guy stepped in So dude. now my whole day is ruined. He stepped in oh. I oh, think I did, yeah. Dog? Hopefully dog. Is this poop in the attic? Nice. I'll go step in that too. Your means of getting that information are dropping comments under the YouTube video. I'm going to tell you right now, dog, this ain't your bag, son. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. Got a little rehab project for y'all today. When I say little rehab project, I'm lying. I'm lying through my teeth because this is not a little rehab project. This is a, a full friggin' shebang, man. 2972 East 67th, right? Cleveland, 44127. Now, this bad boy, I got it listed for you. 36.9, okay? You're going to be able to get 1750 in rent out of this sucker uh, when you're done putting it all together. But truth be told, y'all, this is not... An investment for you rookies out there, all right? If you are a rookie and you want to take this down, more power to you. We will absolutely accept your green money. We accept green money from anybody. But I will tell you, uh, if you are a rookie, I do not see you taking that green money and turning it into more green money because this is a very, very difficult uh, advanced task, right? You have a full rehab in a very challenging neighborhood, right? Now, this is a neighborhood in Cleveland where Section 8 rules the day, y'all. Section 8 rules the day when you're investing in these neighborhoods. We have a ton of chiseled, seasoned, gristled Section 8 landlords, all right? Home renovators, things of that nature that watch Holton Wise TV and buy inventory from us. This is probably uh, going to be for those folks. Those are the folks that pick this stuff up, right? These are the folks that go in, they look at it, they assess it, they put together their scope of work on the top of their head because they've been doing this for years. They probably have an entire crew working for them on an hourly basis, right? This is not necessarily uh, a great idea or opportunity for brand new out-of-state investors who've never rehabbed a property, never invested in the Cleveland market, uh, never dealt uh, with a very uh, tough neighborhood uh, in terms of you know everything, rent collection keeping crime away, things of that nature, right? So I, I cannot stress it enough uh, that I think this is a good opportunity for seasoned gristled vets, people that know what they're doing, that have a team on staff that already have their systems in place, right? Because this, this would just be a lot uh, to bite off for somebody brand new, right? So if you're like a new investor and you're watching this show and, and you're looking at the footage and you're like, oh, that could potentially be a good bar deal. Hey, James, how much is the rehab and what's the ARV, man? If you don't have that information, if you don't know that information, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't see it going well for you, right? If the only way you can figure out how much this rehab is going to cost is to ask me, if the only way you could figure out what the ARV on this property is is to ask me uh, if, if like your means of getting that information are dropping comments under the YouTube video. I'm gonna tell you right now, dog. This ain't your bag, son. This ain't your bag, right? This is uh, going to be a difficult project. It's going to be a tough project, and you need to have economies of scale built into your business to be successful. Uh, so again, I cannot stress it enough. Those who know what they're doing know who they are. And if you are that person and you want to get yourself inside so you can put together your scope of work, shoot my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. And then after that, after you've put together your scope of work, figured out exactly what you got to do to piece this thing back together, uh, you want to make your cash offer. You'll just shoot that back to me. Sales at HoltonWise.com includes your proof of funds. If you are thinking you could buy this property with a loan, much like the rookies out there, I'm going to tell you right now, this ain't your bag, man. This deal ain't for you. Uh, you're in over your head, folks. You got to walk before you could run, right? So 
I'm really here just as, uh, you know, this video should really just be a medium to get you guys the information, the guys who know what they're doing, who can come in there and put it together. And you guys know what to do, man. You go in, you put this thing together, you harden this son of a bitch as much as you possibly can, right? Refinish those hardwoods. You put the glaze on it so when a dog pisses all over the floor, it doesn't seep into the wood. You don't have to redo the tenant's carpets every single year, right? You go in, you hit the walls with a nice neutral tone right nothing too fancy you put in some home depot lowe's quality cabinetry right nothing fancy you get this thing hardened up right you're probably gonna end up vinyl siding the sucker it's got a little bit of peeling paint you get it lead certified and you go section eight man because you're gonna make 1750 a month and in a neighborhood where it's a lot of time is spent chasing down rents if you're not getting that Section 8 government-guaranteed money. You're going to be bringing home the bag, dude. 1750 for a property priced at 369 Those who know who they are, hit my team up, sales at HoltonWise.com. Let's add this one to your portfolio. The thing that they told me to do, they said, make love to the camera. What you mean? That was their advice. I keep hearing beeping. Which one of you is beeping? Me. Sorry, it's me. Are you really beeping? Yeah, I forgot to charge my battery. Oh, okay. Don't Wait, what's what's going on with Bud Light? I don't know. Something about Kid Rock hating transgenders. What does that have to do with Bud Light? Nothing. Bud Light had like a commercial with a transgender person. Was oh. it an internet commercial or a real commercial? Oh, man. I know. It was supposed to be for Mark Man. If you can't have a champion of beer every day, then why can you buy it in a third account? I think I stepped in shit, so now my whole fucking day is ruined. You stepped in oh, shit? Man, I think I did, yeah. Hopefully dog. <laughs> is this group in the attic? Nice. I'll go step in that too to Pretty sure the <laughs> mask yeah, the other out. shit I stepped in. I can't even believe that they sell this color paint. I guess you'll be criminal. Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah, I think it's your back though. I think you bumped into that. Uh oh. That or there's a, a very large snake in here somewhere. <laughs> yeah. In working condition. Yeah. It's actually it way easier right. to film it when it's empty because then you yeah, never right. get that weird shot of the toilet. Yeah, then nobody likes. Yeah. Don't fucking film the toilet. Don't film it on the toilet. I can't imagine why this place would have been abated. <laughs> well, yeah, watch your foot down there. Oh. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.